All right, so welcome everybody. Happy Friday. Uh, my name is Marnie Hernandez and today we are doing Cunard, um, which is the sister company of Princess. Um, oh. Many of you have started uh, Princess. Uh, I know we do have to finish that, but it was a little complicated and I know some people have started, have not started. So I did put in the chat box um, the uh, YouTube uh, trainings that we've done so far for Princess right here, one, two, and three. So maybe uh, we can catch up on that. Um, but right now, I think nobody really has got into Cunard and maybe we can all start that one together today and then see where we go from there. Again, sister company, free cruise with them also. I did not know that. Um, can do, we have to do princess before. Hello, this can do, can in do. I don't think you have to do princess before Cunard because they're two separate trainings, okay? All right, so this is the site to get on. So uh, make sure that you guys are all in and the same place and then we will go in and start the training again. Any time we can um, get free trips, let's do it. So if you guys hear of any other ones, uh, like I said, I was told about um, New Zealand. If you do that uh, fam trip training, which I put in the link also, um, you can earn a, or an opportunity to get a free fam trip to New Zealand. Uh, but I went in to register and I'm still waiting on the email to confirm. Uh, they still haven't sent it. So I guess we'll put that one off. But if you want to do it on your own, or maybe we can get together on Sunday or something, but it has to be done by the 28th. And uh, you have to register and stuff. So that link is there. Um, if you want to do that later, uh, you can do that. I think this one is it. See, is this one it? No, that's my YouTube channel. Sorry. Up here at the top is the New Zealand one. Okay. All right. Um, so real quick, why everybody's getting in and making sure you're all in okay. Haven't done any of these. Okay, perfect. No worries. So make sure everybody's in the same area. Go to training. And we're going to go to Cunard Academy. Cunard, Cunard, Bernard. So again, this may be um, kind of like a princess where I'll have something on my screen, but you guys will have something on your screen and somebody else right. will have something on their screen. So just be aware, okay? Um, also, if you're just starting, um, make sure that you, um, uh, Jermaine, have you registered with Princess yet? Because you have to do that through Archer Travel. Um, and no, um, this is not a um, the Academy one. This one is where you fill out the registration form. Um, that's uh, when you did VAX, you should have done Princess, uh, MSC. I'm already logged in and on this page. Perfect. Okay, good, guys. Perfect. All right. So, um, oops, this is the New Zealand one. This is the one we're on now, Princess. Okay. So, we're going to go into Cunard. Okay, Cunard. Uh, five courses to achieve. So, when you're training with us, uh, what you do is you usually will follow along on your phone and do the training online. So that way you guys can do the test together and we all, um, you know, do it together and you don't have to go back and redo it. Okay. All right. So um, do you guys all have starting out with timeless voyages? No. I start off with an introduction to Cunard. Okay. Oh, Five gosh. courses. Okay. Curriculum. Let's go here. Let me 
other shit. Well, same thing. <laughs> That's what I say. It. It's it's really. Um, let's see. Maybe it's down here. Let's look at elective. Are you guys able to click on any of the courses? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can go into the intro to Canard. Yeah, maybe go into it, see how long it is. Like this one says 30 minutes, 15 minutes, and then maybe it'll take you into, well, here, introduction right here. So we'll do this one, right? 15 minutes? Yeah, that's the one I have. All right, let's start there. So we'll start there. These are all under training, correct. Uh, Courtney, no, you don't need to, um, or you can to help us. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I wanted to find out, because I did register with the New Zealand, but it's did it take a while for you to get the um, email? Because I'm waiting for them to email it to me. Um, the, the training courses or the link for the virtual fam trip um the link sorry guys i'll just show her real quick hold on real quick let me just show you right here um i went in here and i went to go to like the fam trips training but it says an email should have been sent to your email containing instructions to re complete registration and i did that about a half hour ago um, it might take some time, um, but I got mine pretty quickly. Okay. Um, with it, I, I definitely got mine within the same day. Okay, so it'll probably come later. So I'll just do it tonight or something. So in the meantime, we decided we're going to try with Cunard because uh, the, um, the princess one, a lot of people are in and out with it that so nobody's really started this one except you so again <laughs> now okay intro okay so now that's where we're at guys so let's start there um again if you want to stay on courtney and help us that would be great if not i understand and um appreciate you helping us so sure i will i will do my best to help um i did not get a hundred percent all the way through okay um, but i will i will say this some of the courses will some of the courses that you click on will let you go back and redo the quiz okay so like if you get a 70 percent, they can get sometimes they give you an option to go back and redo it Perfect. others don't it just depends on the one that you click on and the final test is like 45 50 minutes long um when you finally work your way through everything before that you get that final certificate um so it's a doozy but i'll like i said i'll try to help as much as i can if i remember all right perfect thank you and just curious did you get a certificate for the cruise yet or um or is it still not open it's not open yet. Um, they act Cunard actually just canceled more voyages for next year. Oh no. Okay. Yeah. Um, so it looks right now like they are sailing out of London for their short trips. Um, so they do one to Hamburg, they do one to Norway. Um, and the free cruise, uh, at least when I earned it is good for a transatlantic crossing. Nice. Um, so either from New York to London or London to New York, or I think it, it was that one or from New York to the Caribbean. Okay. But it's on the Queen Mary too. It's on the biggest one of the fleet. So. Perfect. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate it. So is everybody here now, um, on the intro? And if so, I'm going to start it is being arrowed. Okay. All right. Hold on. Let me get to the main one. Try this one. See if that one works for you.
All right, I'm going to go ahead and start again. Don't worry. Usually it's like videos first and then we'll wait for you for the test. All right, so it's to assist menu button. Okay, help and everything. So let's go ahead. Take a moment and think of some words that you would use to describe luxury. Desirable, understated style, personal, okay. Need some music to this. <laughs> All right. All right. And if you're just joining us, guys, we're doing Cunard today. Um, so just get started. The link is in there. Uh, true luxury um, coming together of your ideals so you feel rewarded with a meaningful and memorable personal experience. Every Cunard voyage is a special occasion, an event rather than just a vacation. Short videos follow. Be sure to check your volume. Okay, so make sure you guys can hear okay. If not, I'll move the speaker down, okay? Jermaine, you're, you're fine. Just go ahead and, you know, all you do is click on canard and then click on introduction. We'll wait for you. Again, you can skip over these really quickly. It's just uh, the test we usually wait with you on. All right. A guest view of Cunard. Ask anyone to name a luxury cruise brand and Cunard will probably crop up. But what do the clients associate, associate with the name? Here's what we discovered when we asked that very question. Uh, we surveyed thousands of guests and potential guests and found that those who have sailed with us love us. And many of those who don't know us are excited about what we have to offer. It was evident that the overarching statements were all about how Canard makes us makes the guests feel. What guests tell us they love the iconic voyages. They feel special, be inspired, and enjoy the freedom only on Canard. <clears throat> Current and again, guys, am I pronouncing is it Cunard, Canard? <laughs> I said both all the way through to myself when I was reading it. Okay. So. I know uh, my boyfriend said it, uh, Bernard Cunard. So um, currently Cunard uh, guests and future guests are traditionally experienced travelers. Their desire is for more immersive travel experience, perhaps to revisit the destinations and relive past adventures in an elevating way or discover somewhere and something new, all on board our wor world renowned iconic liners. So Cunarders, people who have sailed before with Cunard, loyal guests who travel with us frequently appreciate the sense of occasion and delight in the space, culture, and service that they have become accustomed to. On board are great liners. Cruisers wanting more, regular cruise goers who haven't chosen a Cunard cruise before, potential guests who currently enjoy cruise life with other brands. These new guests are looking for a little, that little bit more, a deeper enrichment, a sophisticated elegance, and a sense of peace and space. Non-cruisers who would love us. There's a group of clients who love everything Cunard offers, but they just don't know about Cunard. They are looking to visit iconic destinations, experience high quality service and fine dining, and would appreciate the sense of occasion. Those wanting the very best, people from across all the other groups who want and can afford the ultimate in luxury, Cunard Grill Suites. Those who want the very best are passionate about travel and are driven by a desire to be surrounded by different ideas, cultures, and lifestyles. All right, congratulations, Jermaine, for getting on there. 
All right, Cunard is underpinned with history and heritage, a rich and iconic past of transporting our guests to exciting lands and enriching them along the way. Our guests have told us they relish in three unique Cunard concepts, which completes their vacation experience. Feel special, be inspired. Okay, feel special. Our guests love the sense of occasion which Cunard creates from spectacular evening balls, attentive and unobtrusive service to our most famous afternoon tea. Guests are welcome on board, well looked after with every aspect of the Cunard experience. Be inspired, attending the guest speaker program, experience in a theater production, trying cocktail mixology, fencing, dancing, or learning to paint with watercolors. Guests can be reinvigorated um, as they encounter new surprising pursuits, people, and places. Feel the freedom. Our guests love the sense of freedom and the opportunity to escape and relax from wide open deck space and endless ocean views or ocean horizons to the largest library at sea and luxurious sea days. Guests can escape to an uncrowded world and to do as little or as much as they like. All right, Cunard makes me feel special. Guests can feel special in so many ways. Our famous white star service, service and attention to detail, which goes above and beyond expectations with one crew member for every two guests. Signature Cunard experiences. Guests are invited to experience everything from our famous afternoon tea to our spectacular gala balls. Ensure your clients have an effortless and unforgettable stay. Click on the images below to read how ex um, actual Cunard guests are made to feel. So Cunard makes me feel special because it offers a true sense of occasion. My favorite memory is from the first voyage from experiences experiencing Cunard's signature afternoon tea, getting dressed up for dinner before finishing my evening, enjoying cocktails in the Commodore Club, simply divine. The next one is Cunard makes me feel special as when you are on board, you are treated like an individual with your every need taken care of. Nothing is too much trouble. Trouble. And then last, I had the most magnificent magical trip. <laughs> The staff made an outstanding effort to make me feel special. There is a relaxed and informal vibe on board. Yes, it is grand and five star in every aspect from the decor, service and food. But it is such a pleasant experience. It's not too formal or stuffy. I returned feeling recharged and pampered, wanting to book my next trip. I felt so relaxed and special in every way. All right. So Cunard makes me feel inspired. Iconic journeys from short weekend getaways to our famous transatlantic crossings. Sounds exciting, huh? Or full world voyages. That's what I want to do. All on iconic ships. Amazing entertainment and opportunity to get up close personal with inspiration or inspiring speakers and leading performers from around the world. Unique event cruises such as Transatlantic Fashion Week and World Space Week. So you can promise your clients a truly once in a lifetime experience. Cunard makes me feel inspired because of the elegance of the decor of the ships along with the ambient surroundings and the anticipation of the world or wonderful experiences that lay before me. The diverse dining, the array of guests and the assorted ways to spend my day. Learning new skills, relaxing in the sunshine, or socializing. Cunard inspires me to think about, re or in about visiting new destinations around the world that I wouldn't have thought of traveling to before. It's a perfect taster for everything the world has to offer without having to pack and unpack in between new and exciting destinations. And not only that, but you get to do it in luxury and style on iconic ships that turn heads in every port of call. And then you have, I feel inspired by the transatlantic crossing as it has surely got to be in, on everyone's bucket list, an iconic journey only by Cunard. Each time I cross the ocean, I am amazed and thrilled with what I learn, experience and see on board this most magnificent ocean liner. 
And then you have Cunard makes me feel free. Escape to uncrowded spaces. Cunard ships offer more space per guest than any other ships to similar size. Freedom of choice, opportunity to dress up and dine in style or to relax in more casual surroundings. Time for them. Guests can enjoy the view, relax with a book, or learn to taste wine, mix cocktails, paint, or dance. It's entirely up to them. All right, so let's see how we can tailor their vacation exactly how they wish. Cunard makes me feel free to escape everything and everyone around me. Put simply, have some undisturbed time for me with the option to experience something different and create memories that will last a lifetime. Cunard makes me feel uh, free to vacation at my own pace. If my idea of a perfect vacation is to sit with friends and chat while sipping on an inspired cocktail, that's fine. If I would rather hot foot into a tango lesson and dance day away, that's also fine. Cunard absolutely allows me to vacation at my own pace. And then Cunard makes me feel free to relax. Even though the ship might be full, there's so much space, it doesn't feel crowded. If I choose to sit quietly somewhere with the book or my music or even just my thoughts, I can easily find that space to truly relax. So that's interesting. All right, short video, be sure to check your volume. It's very light music. Wow, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Lots of fun things to do, cocktails. No. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. Guess I need a new wardrobe if I went there though. <laughs> it's a little bougie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Has anybody been on a Cunard uh, cruise yet? I'm a, car a carnival kind of girl. <laughs> this is a step above princess. You went on the princess? Yeah, this is a step above princess. Yeah, princess okay. is nice. Oh God, I gotta do this now. <laughs> this The dress up is what appeals to me because we don't dress up enough. Right. Ah, that's yeah, beautiful. beautiful. It is beautiful. Uh. Disney and Royal Caribbean, very nice. Okay, wonderful. And no, and you've never been on one. Well, Sarah, we got to get you on one. All right, so need more help to dispel the myths. We know there will be objections to selling Cunard. We recognize there are preconceived misconceptions. Our research shows that we are often misunderstood as a brand. Here are some facts to help you address your client's concerns. It's expensive. All right, let's see what we say. With our cruises starting at less than around 120 per person per night, sailing with Cunard offers great value. Compared to a holiday on land where food and entertainment incurs an additional cost, Cunard Cruise includes all of this within the fare. What's more, if your clients book with early booking benefits, their fare may include onboard spending money and free gratuities and drinks for grills guests. Every guest, regardless of fare paid, will get a bottle of bubbly on departure, a bathrobe and slippers for use during the cruise, fresh fruit on request and 24 hour complimentary room service. There's also the added bonus of waking up in a different location every morning. It's too formal. Doo -doo -doo. We love to host special gala evenings and we find that many guests sail with Cunard precisely for an excuse to step out in style. During the day, guests are welcome to wear whatever they feel comfortable in with the evenings being their chance to shine. The average number of gala evenings on a Cunard cruise is two or three times per week. 
Of course, if guests prefer to spend their evenings in more relaxed attire, a selection of dining and entertainment venues are always available for their enjoyment. The King's Court on Queen Mary II and the Lido Restaurant on Queen on the board Queen Victoria and Queen Elizabeth offers casual dining throughout the day with a specialty dining option at night. Queen Victoria also offers a al fresco dining on select days in her expanded Lido pool area. All right. There's a class system on board. Okay. So let's see what that means. Class is a word we don't like to use. It's all about choice from great value inside staterooms to glorious spacious suites. Nearly the whole of the ship is available for everyone to explore. With the grill, suites only accounting for just 12.5% of the guests on board. It's true the gr that grills guests have their own discreet and exclusive areas to relax in, but those are these are the only places that are closed to Britannia guests and make up a very small part of the ship. Should Britannia Britannia guests find themselves in these areas while exploring, of course, they won't be removed unceremoniously. Britannia and grill guests alike can freely enjoy the lounges, bars, outside space pools, theater, ballroom, casino, and pub, to name a few throughout the day and night with no restrictions on access. Every guest enjoys access to 24 hour complimentary room service, including breakfast in bed, the relaxed Lido or King's Court, the Golden Lion lunch menu, and an afternoon tea in the Queen's Room. All guests are also free to book lunch or dinner in our specialty restaurants, including the renowned steakhouse at the veranda, and the small fee applies for all guests. Britannia guests simply dine in the Grand Britannia restaurant for dinner while Britannia club and grill guests dine in the most intimate Britannia club, Queen's Grill or Princess Grill restaurants. <coughs> okay, sounds good. Uppity to me, but it's stuffy, boring and old fashioned. Again, guys, um, let's um, not share that, okay? It is not because our ships have classic style and modern touches, contemporary and sophisticated with a nod to the golden age of travel. And they are continually evolving with regular updates to interiors and onboard experiences. A variety of musical genres, including big band and jazz can be heard throughout the ships. And for something more contemporary, guests can head to the nightclub, G32 on the Queen Mary II or the Yacht Club on Queen Victoria or Queen Elizabeth, or on deck for a lively sail away party. And again, Cunard offers choice. There's always plenty to do if guests want to. From participating in a martini mixology class to learning to ballroom dance or watching a Broadway style show or taking a fencing lesson. And if they don't, that's entirely their choice. All right, it's for old people. Who's old? <laughs> While many Cunard guests are aged, okay, 55 and over, a sizable contingent are in their 40s and early 50s. While younger travelers and families will, with children also don't look out of place on board. We offer fantastic children facilities, including dedicated play zones and activities organized and facilitated by our youth team. Short breaks, Caribbean and transatlantic crossings typically attract a younger audience. These may be ones to bear in mind if a younger traveler inquires about Cunard. Many guests on board are experienced international travelers who are interested in the arts and culture and enjoy socializing with like-minded guests of all ages. All right, see, good to know. That's interesting. Again, I didn't know much about Cunard. In summary, we all we know our Cunarder guests understand and delight in the three brand pillar feelings and our Cunard ambassadors who book regularly with Cunard and our seasoned travelers. We also know these are or there are cruisers who are wanting more. The desire for greater sense of luxury, space and fulfillment make them a prime group to share the Cunard experience and non-cruisers who would love us. Cunard would be the perfect fit. They just don't know it yet. This group may be looking to visit iconic destinations, experience high quality service, 
fine dining and would appreciate the sense of occasion that Cunard provides. And finally, those who want the very best. These guests are passionate about travel and are driven by a desire to be surrounded by different ideas, cultures, and lifestyles. Whichever type of guest is before you, you can be sure that Cunard will enable them to. Feel special, be inspired, and enjoy the freedom. Our dedicated uh, travel agent portal, One Source Travel Agent Center, contains everything you need to learn about, sell, and book Cunard voyages. Take a look and explore for yourself. So Cunard Answers, new and improved search engine that will help you get information you need. Polar online user guides, step-by-step -step guides on how to make and modify bookings. Brand resources, learn about the Cunard brand. Destination marketing tools, a selection of PDFs which provide you with information on Cunard voyages to help you sell them. Sale programs, learn about our most recent campaigns, policies, and marketing tools. Asset bank, access to Cunard's visuals and videos. Cunard deals, our latest fairs, weekly focuses, and limited time promotions. And then order brochures and more. Order pre-printed brochures, postcards, letterhead, posters, destination overview, pamphlets, and more. Definitely do that, guys, and market yourself, okay? Now, you've all read all the introductions. Marnie, it's time to test your knowledge. <laughs> the quiz is comprised of 10 questions. Everybody ready? Yep, let's do it. All right, name two of the unique event cruises Cunard offers to make our guests feel inspired. Okay, so to feel inspired. It's World Space Week. World Space and Week and then- Transatlantic, not transcontinental, transatlantic, yeah. It's a transatlantic, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, okay, Vicki, so just mark it down. That's why I said, because we do, they have it in different orders. So I wouldn't take the test now. Um, take a picture of this or, or the answers, and then you can go back and answer yours. That's what I'm saying, they, they tease us, okay? I don't have World Space Week on mine. Okay, but is this the same question? Look at the question. Is uh, it no. I know yeah. I have a different question too. Yeah, they're all different questions. So we'll get to your okay. questions, guys. Oh. That's, that's okay. what I'm saying. Princess and Cunard teases you, okay? So for this question, it's a World Space Week. Again, when we get to it, guys, we will help you, okay? Okay. All right, that's right. So we got that one right, okay? Which three cruises types offered are considered iconic journeys? So we got full world, right? Mm -hmm. Short weekend getaways. And then what was it? Transcontinental, wasn't it? Uh, transatlantic. It was Atlantic? Okay. All right. So which three cruises? That's right. Okay. So again, if that was one of your questions, we got it. Again, we'll, we'll go back, guys. What describes luxury today? <clears throat> Select all that apply. Luxury is time for you. I would say on your own terms. Experimental, all of the above. <laughs> Experiential, yeah, that one. All right. Yep. You guys good? Experimental, experiential, own terms and time for you. All right, our guests tell us Cunard makes them feel isn't that all three of these? Is all of them? What is it? Not all of them. Just those three that you had. These so, three, not intrigued. Special and inspired. Got it. Inspired, special, and freedom. <clears throat> all right. Match the descriptive statements with the type of guest. Okay. All right. Are you guys doing okay? Have you seen your questions? No. <laughs> All right, we'll get to it. Regular cruise goers who haven't chosen a Cunard cruise before, these new guests are looking for that little bit more. Is that this one? 
who would love us? No, it's the uh, it's the one uh, to. Yep. Yeah. Wanting more. Yep. People from across all the other groups who want and can afford the luxury. That's Cunard or, or wants the very best. Yep. Okay. Uh, you were yeah you were right there. Yeah. People who have sailed with Cunard before, loyal guests. That's this one, right? Mm-hmm. And then there's a group of customers who love everything Cunard has to offer, but they just don't know about Cunard, right mm -hmm. there. Non-cruisers who would love us. Again, guys, you can take a picture, and then that way, when you get to that question, you have the answers. Okay. That's what I'm doing. Perfect. Okay. So yeah. Cunarders are people who have sailed before. Cruisers <coughs> wanting more are regular cruisers. Non-cruisers are ones that don't know about Cunard. And then people across the other groups wanting the very best. Well done. All right, which Cunard Miss needs busting? It's expensive, too formal. There's a class for old people. Is that all of them or is it? That'd be an old fashioned too. Yeah, it's, I think it's all of them. All of them, okay. Cunard has one crew member for every two guests. True. It's true? I didn't hear that. Yeah. Okay. Correct. All right, match the brand statements with what our guests tell us they feel. So okay. feel special. Um, Cunard ships offer more space per guest. I think that's the freedom, right? Yep. Okay. Um, amazing entertainment, um, unique events, free weekend. Is this the inspired? Yes. And then the feel special is the White Star service and Cunard experience. Okay, get, get your picture. Done. Okay, well done. All right, which four groups of clients are Cunard appealing to? Which four groups? I would say that, I would say that, that, that. Okay, all but long haul travelers. All but long haul. We believe every Cunard cruise is a special occasion, an event rather than just a vacation. True. We believe, okay, correct. 100%. Woo, woo. Whoop, whoop. Okay, so now we want to make sure everybody got their answers. So let us know who's missing a question. If you need an answer, we can go through and re-review. Oh, let me see if I can um, find my pictures. Well, we <laughs> can just, just go through your thing and we'll tell you. We can okay. read right here, I think. Maybe not. Oh, no. Nope, this starts me over. We don't want to yeah, do that. Let me, let me just grab my pictures real quick. Okay. See or you can just here. ask us. We can help you with that. Okay. What describes luxury today? Select all that applies. Luxury is experiential. Luxury is on your own terms. Luxury is material possession. Luxury is not material. Of all of them except material impressions. Okay. That's what I thought. Um, and the, how many, uh, one crew member for every two guests? Correct, true. True, okay. And the two of the unique event cruises Canard offers to make the guests feel inspired. That's the World Space Week and... and <clears throat> Trans Atlantic Fashion Week. Oh, Fashion Week, yeah. Uh, uh, Transatlantic Fashion Week or Transcontinental yeah. Fashion Week? Atlantic, because you cross the Atlantic on a boat. Continental means across the continent. The world. Okay, right, right. Yeah, obviously. 
Okay, that's those two. All right. Um, okay. Match the brand statements. Oh boy. Let me see if I got I got the pictures for that one. Okay. It'd be easier. How's everybody else? Did everybody else get their test done? Almost finished. Okay. Can I do it later before? Yeah, you can do this anytime, guys. So and again, we're recording it. So you can refer back also. All right, so Christine, let us know where you're at. Also, um, everybody else, uh, let me know what's next on your screen. Okay, I just finished mine. All right, congratulations. Did you get your 100%? Uh, I did. <laughs> congratulations. <laughs> See how good it is when we do it together? So much easier this time around, Marnie. I, I know, I read, can go <laughs> figure. <laughs> That's why it's always good when we have somebody on that has already watched it. All right. Voyage experience. Good. That's where I'm at. I am at brand statements. Almost finished. Okay. No worries. I love doing these. Okay. Cool. Jessica. Thank you. I'll rewatch too. Yep. And guys, again, you know, we have a ton in here under our um, YouTube channel. So make sure you like watch the Universal. That's where you get free tickets. Um, Escaret also. Atlantis is amazing, guys. Um, but yeah, lots and lots of trainings in here. I still have to do my Denmark that I missed. Um, also, guys, we put in here um, short little videos too. How to submit your commission form. How to submit a supplier request form. How to set up your website. So lots of, of help. So guys, anytime you have something you want to train on or, or need us to help you with, let us know because we're trying to do like little short videos too. So you guys now can refer back. So you don't have to watch like an hour long video to just see how to do the commission form or something. Okay, question. Okay. Our guest tell us Kennard makes them feel special freedom, feel the freedom, feel inspired, feel intrigued. It's not intrigued. Okay, that's Everything what I Everything else thought. but intrigued. Okay, I got 90%. That's fine. All right, congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Exit the course, right? Yep. All right. Okay. So now, hopefully, hopefully, you guys are all on voyage experience. I don't even have that one, Marnie. <laughs> <laughs> That was the first you. one. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Okay, does everybody have Queen Mary 2? Yes, I oh. have that one. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay. I'm telling yes, you, that's, got... that's why this princess and Cunard, because I, I guess they don't want you to do group trainings or something. Um, you know, it's, it's... I've, got, I've got Queen Mary 2. Okay. Everybody got Queen Mary too? We can do that one. Yes, I have it. Perfect. All right, let's do it. <laughs> I know this is what causes me to have my glass of wine, okay? <laughs> so too bad I can't because today I have to do the presentation at six. So it's like, oh, it's going to be a long day for me. All right, put your name in. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, you got to do your name again? Yep, and now it's a second course. All right, anybody want to read on this one? Huh? If no one will read, I'll, I'll do it again. <laughs> I don't mind, so it's, it's, I just figured I'll let, you know, participation, you know, is always fun, so. I would do it, but I'm a, past preschool teacher and it would be very animated. <laughs> All right, I'll do another one. And then if we keep on, we'll, we'll give you one, Courtney. All right. All right. Sounds good. All right. So she's special. It's not for nothing that she is still the only true ocean liner in the world. Her sheer scale and elegance see to that. Queen Mary II is purpose built for the job in hand. 
Her long, sleek hull is designed with wave piercing capabilities and contains 40% more steel than a standard cruise ship. With an extra deep hull, she also rises 200 feet above the waterline to the highest point. That is the equivalent of a 23 story building. Oh my gosh. She has an average cruising speed of 28 knots with the bulbous bow to reduce drag. Queen Mary II glides across the Atlantic stable and strong. Unique selling points. The first at sea planetarium of Champagne Bar Canyon <laughs> Ranch Spa Club. The largest at sea the dance floor, the library, and the wine collection. She is the flagship of Cunard, contemporary and sophisticated, with style and elegance on a grand scale, complete with 15 restaurants and bars, five swimming pools, a full-size theater, a casino, and a 3D cinema. So wow. remember that, 15 restaurants and bars, five swimming pools. All right, Queen Mary two. Look at that. How cool is that? Holds 2,695 guests. Tonnage 151, 400 GRT. The length is 1,132 feet with 131 feet. Speed 28 knots. Draft 31 feet. Entered service in 2004 and she was named by HM the Queen. Very cool. All right, have a guess. From how many miles away can the Queen Mary whistle be heard? 15, 10? What would you guys say? How many miles away can the Queen Mary whistle be heard? I'd guess 10. <laughs> well done. Whistles can be heard for 10 miles and one of the whistles is an original from the Queen Mary. Queen Mary II has the largest name on any ship afloat. From how many miles away can it be seen? Three. Well three. done. <laughs> Queen Mary's II's nut sign can be seen for three miles. Queen Mary II is nearly four football fields in length. Wow. How many double-decker buses must you line up to stretch the same distance? Oh, wow. I think it's 39. 39? Good mm -hmm. job. You're right. She trusts oh very yeah. good. The equivalent of 39 double decker buses end to end. During construction, a London bus was parked alongside to give an impression of her scale. Look at that. Wow. That's a big one. All right. So, accommodation options. Let's check this out. Britannia experience, peaceful havens in which to relax. Britannia staterooms offer comfort and the opportunity to dine in the truly spectacular Britannia restaurant, an awe-inspiring dining venue that will remind guests of the great ocean liners of the past. Spacious Britannia accommodations on board, Queen Mary II range from insides to ocean view and balcony stateroom options. Whole cut sheltered balconies positioned on the lower decks offer protection from the elements while traditional glass fronted balconies may appeal to sun lovers. New Britannia single ocean view staterooms are now available for the solo traveler. So that's good to know because I've had a few that asked about single rooms. All right, don't click on this. Okay, you can click on this. Some you click and it takes you completely out. So uh, Britannia Club balcony staterooms combine glass fronted balconies with enhanced stateroom amenities. Guests will dine in the Britannia Club restaurant, a private area of the Grand Britannia restaurant offering them the freedom to choose when they will eat each evening. All right, so the Princess Grill. Princess Grill Suites are spacious and offer plenty of room for relaxation. Ooh, beautiful, huh? A large private balcony and separate seating area offer space to unwind. Guests in the Princess Grill Suites will have access to the exclusive grill lounge and enjoy single seating dining in the renowned Princess Grill Restaurant. And then the Queen's Grill. 
Queen's Grill Suites are the uh, pinnacle of luxury at sea, offering the very best views and plenty of room to relax. A personal butler will see the guests every request. Queen's Grill Suites range in size from respectable 506 square feet all the way up to our grand duplex suites. The most luxurious afloat encompassing two decks and approximately 2,249 square feet of living space. Wow. All right. Gee. That's what I'll do when I win the lottery. <laughs> Your own home. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Huge. All right. Dining options. Dining on board is perfectly matched to the guest's accommodation choice, giving it that exclusive feel. Their table awaits them every night. The pace is unhurried, the service impeccable, and the food superb. The restaurants are also open for breakfast and lunch. If guests feel like dining somewhere other than their assigned dining room, there are a number of specialty restaurants available. Queen's Grill Restaurant, okay, let's see if it opens up, yes. Dining is world renowned for a very good reason, exclusively for guests who book Queen's Grill Suites. Menus offering both modern and classic dishes expertly prepared with the very finest ingredients are served in the spectacular Queen's Grill restaurant, which has been awarded five stars from the Berlitz Guide to Cruising for uh, um, 11 consecutive years. The Princess Grill <coughs> restaurant. Princess Grill guests can dine in an exclusive Princess Grill restaurant with an which is an experience in itself. Menus showcasing the very best ingredients combined with exceptional cooking, exclusive surroundings, and impeccable service to make every meal mem memorable. The Britannia Club Restaurant uh, guests can enjoy dinner in the relaxed atmosphere of their own Britannia Club Restaurant, a private part of the Grand Britannia Restaurant. Guests can dine at any time that suits them between 6.30 and 9.00, Varying menus and exclusive dishes create a dining event every evening. The Britannia Restaurant. With the drama of double height room, Tiffany, that looks like uh, the, the um, Titanic, no, <laughs> kind of. Tiffany style ceiling and stunning sweeping staircases. The Britannia Restaurant epitomizes everything the golden age of travel was about and still is aboard a Cunard Queen. Britannia guests may choose either first sitting at 6 p.m. or second sitting at 8.30 p.m. for the duration of their voyage when they book their cruise, okay? King's Court. Enjoy a casual breakfast, lunch, dinner, or late night buffet in the relaxed uh, self-service King's Resort or King's Court restaurant and its central service area, allowing our talented chefs to showcase their culinary expertise. Specialty stations offering Italian, Pan-Asian, Tex-Mex, and American smokehouse menus operate on a rotating basis in the evening. Dining in these specialty areas is subject to a small cover charge. Hmm, that's different. All right, the veranda. Already popular on Queen Elizabeth and Queen Victoria, the veranda makes its debut on board Queen Mary II in 2016, offering a contemporary premium French menu featuring delicious seasonal fare. The first Cunard Veranda Grill de debuted aboard the Queen Mary in May 1936. 80 years later, the latest incarnation of the Veranda is, will open on board the Queen Mary II in June of 2016, following her extensive refit. Reservations for dining in the Veranda are recommended and a surcharge applies. And then the Corinthia Lounge offers a stylish spy, uh, space for casual relaxation. During the day, it serves as tranquil retreat, offering light breakfast and lunchtime options, specialty coffees, teas, and a pan, pantisserie counter. I hope that's right. The venue hosts Canard's traditional champagne afternoon tea. In the evening, the lounge becomes an informal, sophisticated supper club space, specializing in premium wines, small plate dining, and relaxed entertainment. All right. <clears throat> so bar options with a wide range of bars to choose from. There's always somewhere for guests mm -hmm. to relax and unwind. 
So here we have the champagne bar, share conversations and sip champagne from beautiful Waterford crystal flutes. In this sophisticated midship located venue, guests may choose from seven different um, champagnes served by the bottle or by the glass. The Golden Lion Club, darts, karaoke, live sports and ale, everything you'd expect in an authentic English pub. There's even a complimentary traditional pub lunch served every day with classic favorites such as fish and chips and cottage pie named after Canard's trademark Golden Lion Crest. I'd be more relaxed there. Now, <laughs> Commodore Club, Canard's signature Commodore Club magically, majestically overlooks the bow of Queen Mary II and provides glorious panoramic views as guests sail towards the horizon. An extensive selection of martinis is available and guests may even be tempted to try the martini mixology or whiskey tasting classes. Then you have Sir Samuels. Named after the founder of Cunard, Sir Samuels offers views over the ocean with comfortable chairs <sighs> to while away a few hours. Serves wine by the glass or bottle and also acts as a perfect place to relax with a specialty coffee and cake or a light lunch. And then you have a G32, looks like the club, okay? A dual level nightclub where guests can dance the night away to the sounds of the re resident party band and DJ. G32 got its name from the ship's whole number, the number used by the ship builders in the shipyard before Queen Mary II was named so that the workers knew which vessel they were working on. Okay, that's good to know. So again, guys, remember this because I'll probably ask where to send the certain people for what they want to drink. Okay. All right, there we go. Match the bars to their description. Okay. Um, <clears throat> hey, I know the nightclub. I got that one. All right, the martini and mixology. Which one's that one? Was that Sir Samuels? I know dark karaoke. Mm -hmm. That's Golden Lion, right? Yep. Champagne the champagne was the bar one, right? the crystal flutes. Mm -hmm. That one, okay. Perfect place to relax with coffee or light lunch and then wine tasting. I think the Commodore <laughs> Club is here. Is that the Commodore Club? And then Sir Samuel's here. What do you guys think? Don't you need to switch Sir Samuel's and the Commodore Club? Is it? I don't know. Is that it? Yep. Yep. Okay. Incorrect. <laughs> All right. So Sir Samuels is the lunch. Commodore is the martinis, the dual nightclub, and the lion club. All right. That was incorrect too. Yeah. Oh. We'll continue. Oh, okay. Hold on. Let's go back. Can we go back? Okay. Let's try it again. Okay, they didn't let me go back. Club. This is the champagne. The golden lion is the this dark. Is the dark lion. Lion. Uh, I'm so Sir Samuels is Samuel. next. Yep. Yes. And then it should be the Commodore Club. I didn't actually have this when I took okay. my test. All right. Isn't that what we just had? No? No, I think you had Commodore and Samuel switched, and that's why it was wrong. That's correct, Marnie. That's right. All right, perfect. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so you guys got that? All right, now click on the buttons to see the activities and entertainment has to offer. You guys all pass that one, right? All right. Yeah. Experience the world's first floating planetarium illuminations, offering up to four showings on sea days and seating 150 guests per show. When the dome is retracted, illuminations is also used as a 498 seat movie theater, offering matinee and evening showings of the latest blockbusters. There are 473 traditional seats, 10 additional seats on curved sofas, and 15 seats on both the upper and lower floors for guests with disabilities. 
The Cunard Insights Program, Programmar, provides a range of guest speakers who come to talk on all manner of different subjects. Insights aim to engage, enlighten, and entertain from astronauts to authors. The range of speakers varies immensely. Past guest speakers include Lord Robert Winston, Sir Terry Wogan, and Sir Jackie Stewart. All right. <clears throat> Maritime Quest. Unveil Cunard's proud history from Samuel Cunard's first venture across the Atlantic in 1840 to the building of the Queen Mary II just over a decade ago. Recall Ocean Travel's golden heyday at this unique exhibition located throughout the ship's corridors and stairwells. RADA Acting Workshops. The RADA Royal Academy of Dramatic Art Actors offer guests the chance to share some of the training they received during their three year, years at their famous drama school. Each workshop lasts approximately 45 minutes and is creative, inform, informative, and fun. The Queen's Room, the elegant tradition of entertain, uh, afternoon tea is a Cunard signature not to be missed. White gloved waiters serve delightful cucumber sandwiches, fresh scones and tea, accompanied by the sounds of the orchestra in the magnificent Queen's Room ballroom. In the evening, the Queen's Room transfers into a glorious ballroom with dancing cocktail parties and themed evenings for guests to lose themselves in. Gentlemen, dance hosts are always on hand, so the ladies never have to go unpartnered on the dance floor. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> Canyon Ranch Spa Club on Queen Mary too. Ooh, looks beautiful. Is an expansive, beautifully appointed spa that travels with guests to exotic ports of calls. Wherever they are in the world, guests can enjoy the best pampering spa treatment, rejuvenating body rituals, and personalized fitness training. Guests can choose from endless possibilities for relaxation and healthy living, including signature Canyon Ranch services that reflect our emphasis on wellness. The largest library at sea with 8,000 books available covering a remarkable array of topics. There will always be an excellent choice of reading material. Indeed, the quality and range of literature available in this beautiful room that magnifies the stunning views over the bow. Shopping and galleries. The shops at Queen Mary II offer stunning jewelry, fashion, and the latest fragrances along with Cunard gifts. Additionally, the Clarendon Fine Art Gallery on board pre presents some of the world's best artist works for viewing and for sale. The Play Zone and The Zone offer parents a safe place to keep their children entertained. With specially trained staff, parents can have peace of mind that their children are in the best possible hands whilst being able to enjoy some quality relaxation time. And then the casino, Empire Casino, the elegant onboard casino will raise guest pulses as they try their luck on one of the nine gaming tables, video poker, and or one of the many slot machines. Complimentary gaming lessons are available for those new to gaming, casino gaming. All right. Kennels, oh my gosh, they even let you bring your pets? The only Cunard liner with kennels um, available for transatlantic crossings. 24 kennels are available to use on the transatlantic crossing between Southampton and New York. Dogs and cats can travel aboard with the size of the animal determining either, determining either upper or lower kennels. Please refer to the Cunard answers for complete information, including pricing, booking information, and prohibited breeds. Our kennel space sells out quickly, so be sure to reserve your clients' pet spots as early as possible. With an eye for detail that differentiates Cunard, both a lamppost and a fire hydrant can be found on the area of deck reserved for dog walking so that dogs from either side of the pond will feel equally at home. That's pretty <laughs> funny, huh? That's cute. All right, transatlantic crossings. Cunard ships have been crossing the Atlantic to and from New York since 1840, when we established the first ever <laughs> service. Today, only Queen Mary II frequently makes this journey, and not only does it remain as glamorous and exciting as ever, but it's still one of the most travel's most iconic experiences. 
All right, did you know Queen Mary II is five times longer than Cunard's first ship, the Britannia, which today could fit into Queen Mary II's Brit Britannia restaurant? Oh my gosh. Wow. Um, geez, is that, look at that. Look how tiny. <laughs> Charles Dix Dickens wasn't a fan. He famously described his cabin on board the Britannia as a profoundly preposterous box. <laughs> Britannia carried a live cow on board to provide passengers with fresh milk. <laughs> Displayed on board Queen Mary II is the magnificent Boston Cup. It was given to Sir Samuel Cunard by the people of Boston in 1840. It commemorates the arrival of Britannia to Boston and the city's gratitude at being chosen as the U.S. seaport for Cunard's transatlantic service. Very interesting, huh? I didn't know any yeah. of that. All right, test your knowledge. Now that you read all about it, it's time to take our quiz. Get your cameras ready. <laughs> Yeah. Right. <laughs> Which programma, programma offers guests the chance to listen to a variety of guest speakers? The insights? Yep. All right. It's insights, guys. Do, do, do. Correct. What year did Queen Mary II enter into service? Was it? Um, 2016? Yeah. Wow. 2004. 2004. Uh, Thank you. Uh, Correct. Boy, I'm glad you're paying attention. Name all animals that can be taken aboard. Did we know that? Dogs and cats. Yeah, dogs and cats. Okay. Thank you. Who named the Queen Mary II? H.M. Yeah. Perfect. H.M. the Queen. Correct. Oops, sorry. How many swimming pools are on board? Five. All right. Very good. Five. How many books does the onboard library hold? 8,000. <clears throat> 8,000? Yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. Queen Mary II is five times larger than Cunard's first ship, the Britannia. True. You know your stuff. <laughs> uh, that was my first question. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What first does Queen Mary II have on board? Was it the planetarium, um, the dance floor? And was it the champagne bar? Which one was which one was? It? So the first are the champagne bar, I believe. Okay. First, I think it's first. Uh, I think the spa was one. It's not the dance floor. And it's not the dance floor. Uh, it is the planetarium. It is the planetarium. Yeah. All right. So the planetarium, the spa bar, and, or the spa club, and the champagne bar. Yes, I'm pretty sure. Correct. Yay. Woo, 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 woo. Good memory. All right. What are the three accommodation options called? Queen, Princess, and Britannia. All right. Queens, Princess, and Britannia. Correct. Well done, Marnie. Hey, I'm doing great. <laughs> what do Mary, Queen Mary's two wine collection, dance floor, and library all have in common? That's the largest at sea, right? Yeah. Right. That was it. Okay. Correct. Do do do. One hundred percent. We're okay now. I have a question here I don't remember you guys having. Okay. It says, on what route does Queen Mary offer regular transatlantic crossings? Right. That That's London, I mean, uh, Southampton to New York or New York to Southampton. Okay. Thank you. 
And I tell you, they try to trick us. Uh, I, I know. So let me let me try to catch up because my questions were like totally different and I couldn't go on. What so. was the other first? Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. What was the other first? Um, it was the spa club, the floating planetarium, and the champagne, the champagne bar. Oh. All right. Thanks. Christine, you good? Uh, I'm getting there. <laughs> okay. Anybody else have any questions that didn't come up? Uh, I am done. Sorry, I'm rich in my I, I have one about the transatlantic crossings. Okay. On what route does Queen Mary 2 offer regular transatlantic crossings? Southampton, Miami, South, Southampton, Boston, Southampton, New York, or South New York? Okay. Southampton, New York. New York. Got it. Thank you. You're welcome. Anybody else? Anybody else? What program offers guests the chance to speak, uh, to listen to a variety of guest speakers? Did, was Insights. that a question you had? Insights. Insights. Okay. Whew. Thank you. Uh, H.M. the Queen. Correct. Okay, I'm missing one. I got it, hundred percent. Yay! I got one. I'm missing this one. What first does Queen Mary two have on board? I missed that one somehow. The first, it's the champagne bar. Okay. The spa. Mm -hmm. And the planetarium. The planetarium. Thank you. Yay! So everybody good? Everybody pass? Yep. I'm All ready. Right. Congratulations. Tricky, tricky. We got them though. All right, let's do one more. So let's see where everybody, does everybody have the Virgin Voyage experience yet? No, I still don't have it. Do you have the Queen Victoria? I do. I do. All right. Anybody does not have the Queen Victoria? <laughs> All right. So we're going to do the Queen Victoria. Courtney, you want to read? Sure. All right. Put my name in here. Yeah, I'll do the name again. It is nice that they call you by your name through each course. Right. And they congratulate you every time you get a question right. Yeah, <laughs> see, they're special. They're the top of the line. All right. How many students? Yeah, Brittany, we'll record it. Sorry. Okay. Good to go? Yep. Okay. Two sisters. Queen Victoria is similar in size and layout to her sister ship, Queen Elizabeth, but has her own distinct personality and feel. Her unique facilities are amongst the most modern you will find, and yet she has a special ambience so evocative of great liners past. The Art Nouveau decor was inspired and carefully planned to take maximum advantage of the ship's grand spaces. First at sea, first Cunard ship to have a female captain, Inger Klein Olsen. I think you can click on them, yeah. Inger Klein Olsen joined Queen Victoria as deputy captain in August, 2010. Okay. Miss, it must be in your house. Yeah. First ship to teach fencing on board. Okay. 
first recreational fencing at sea, partnering with Leon Paul Fencing Company, supplier to Olympians. First canard ship to have West End style boxes in the theater, a collection of 16 private boxes that frame the stage and afford 48 lucky guests exclusive seating from which to enjoy the performances. First Cunardia Museum showing off our proud heritage, heartfelt anecdotes and historic artifacts related to Cunard lines, three 20th century queens are captured in Cunardia. And first two story library with a stunning spiral staircase. The carpet is adorned with signatures of famous playwrights and novelists such as William Shakespeare, Charles Dickens, and D.H. Lawrence. Perfect. All right, thank you, Jermaine. Bye, guys. No, no worries. You guys can. Oh, which one is this? We're on the, um, which one are we on? The, the Victoria. Victoria. <laughs> Queen Victoria. OK, thank you. You're welcome. All right, have a guess. What year did Queen Victoria enter service? 2006? Uh, nearly is 2007. Would you believe 2007? All right, to which charity did Cunard become a platinum patron of after the naming ceremony? I think the Alice. 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 Nope. Okay. And we're not doing that. Charity. I'm going to ask All right. The Queen's Room Ballroom is modeled on which royal residence? Buckingham Palace. No, it's the house. It's, it's the Osborne house. house. Yeah. Osborne House. All right. Queen Victoria's home on the Isle of Wight. All right. Okay, so good thing that's not our final test. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead. Okay, accommodation. A steward is always available for help and advice while round the clock complimentary service keeps guests refreshed and replete. Britannia staterooms offer a welcoming space for guests to rest their head for an introduction to the Cunard experience. Princess Grill Suites are a great way to discover what luxury onboard Cunard needs with all the extras that come along. Queen's Grill Suites are the pinnacle of indulgence for guests who completely want to embrace the Cunard experience with exclusive areas and extras as well as a butler willing to meet all guests' needs. Nice. Okay, so Britannia. Britannia staterooms come with all the expected amenities of Cunard, including a half bottle of sparkling wine to toast the voyage sail away, robe and slippers for use during the voyage and luxurious Penhaligon, Penhaligon uh, bathroom toiletries. From comfortable inside staterooms to ocean view or balcony staterooms, there is something to suit every taste and budget. Single occupancy inside and ocean view staterooms are also available. Princess Grill Suites take the guests' travels to a whole new level of indulgence. Sparkling wine and strawberries come with guests into their spacious balconied suites, which occupy prime locations on the ship. Guests can expect a few exclusive extras such as personalized stationery, a walk-in wardrobe, a full-size bathroom, soft terry cloth robes and slippers. There are 62 Princess Grill Suites on board Queen Victoria. Queen's Grill Suites will provide the absolute pinnacle of luxury and will show <laughs> guests the ultimate Cunard experience. These beautifully styled suites and penthouses are the guests' personal sanctuaries of opulence. Guests can expect to be welcomed with champagne and petite fours on their arrival. A personal butler is on hand to look after the guests' every need, from helping guests to unpack upon arrival to serving their nightly pre-dinner canopies. Nice. Okay. Sense of occasion for every evening. The Royal Court Theater. In the elegant two-deck Royal Court Theater, guests can watch lavish tech musical productions performed by the Cunard Royal Dancers and Singers. Queen Victoria plays host to the first ever private boxes at sea, 
These add an extra dash of glamour to each dazzling show and are available to book on board for production show nights. The something something champagne bar. Um, not even gonna try it. <laughs> elegant space sparkling with golden glass elements the bar serves champagne exclusively along alongside a selection of premium hors d'oeuvres such as smoked salmon and smoked barbary duck the bar's design elements in shades of gold brown and blue form a subtle backdrop for sand blasted art deco glass showcase panels with inset boxes featuring a variety of champagnes the commodore club in the Commodore Club, guests can find elements of Cunard's past along with majestic panoramic views over the bow. Martini mixology or whiskey tasting classes provide memorable experiences. Two dramatic entrances, each with a leaded glass arched dome ceiling mirrored below by a wood inlaid compass floor design, lead into this nautical space decorated with models of past Cunard liners in special porthole displays. In Hemisphere's nightclub, guests can admire the expansive panoramic views that stretch from horizon to horizon by day and dance to the beat of the band and the resident DJ under the splendid glass dome roof by night. Hanging from its ceiling is a huge dazzling chandelier made of beautiful Swarovski crystals. A Cunard tradition, the chart room offers a full bar menu and extensive selection of single malt and blended scotch. Live piano music and jazz sessions on selected evenings make it a lively choice for music buffs. This cozy room features sand blasted maps with sea views, glass vin blah, vitrines displaying ship models and maritime art. <sighs> okay. The queen's room features a dramatic high ceiling, crystal chandeliers, a 1000 square foot dance floor with inlaid wood pattern patterns and rich wall decor with spectacular bat -lit, bat back lit glass panels. By day, enjoy white gloved afternoon tea service as well as dance classes and fencing classes of first at sea. By night, experience elegant balls and the captain's cocktail parties. Cocktail, cocktail. Winter garden with its retractable glass roof, movable glass wall, Looking out to the swimming pool, wooden Venetian blinds and oversized ceiling fans, it is sure to be a firm favorite. The Winter Garden is Queen Victoria's indoor-outdoor relaxation area and is reminiscent of a grand conservatory in the colonial days. All right. Wish I was there now, huh? <laughs> yep. Okay. Whether guests love to keep busy or simply relax, there is something for everyone on Queen Victoria to pass their time. The Royal Spa. Queen Victoria's Cunard Royal, Spa, Cunard Royal Spa and Fitness Center redefines the modem, oh, modern, sorry, I'm reading off your screen, Marnie, uh, modern spa experience at sea. The luxurious 13,000 square foot spa is beautifully appointed and features a glass, a glass enclosed health center affording ocean views. The spa offers a comprehensive health and wellness program with a stunning hydrotherapy pool and thermal suite providing the centerpiece for the ultimate spa experience. Inspired by holistic, relaxing, and stress-relieving therapies drawn from disciplines around the world, the Cunard Royal Spa offers the most luxur luxurious and exotic treatments available. Keep active. Queen Victoria is home to a gym as well as two inviting swimming pools and four whirlpools. The gym is fully equipped with all the latest equipment and is staffed by trained fitness instructors who are on hand to give guidance where needed. Personal trainers are available to tailor bespoke fitness programs to help guests reach their fitness goals. The Teak Sport Sports Deck offers an array of traditional cruising deck games such as quotes, quotes, whatever that is, and shuffleboard. I know shuffleboard. <laughs> The Royal Arcade, tax and duty free. The shopping aboard Queen Victoria includes high-end fashion jewelry, fine watches, fragrances, and cosmetics. Within the shops, guests also find Queen Victoria branded formal and everyday wear. Modeled after London's Burlington Arcade, 
the double height Royal Arcade features a dramatic staircase with intricate wrought iron detailing. The focal point of the space is a classically designed freestanding clock by Dent and Company, the clockmaker to Her Royal Highness Queen Victoria. The casino. Guests can try their luck at the Empire Casino. On board Queen Victoria, there are five gaming tables, including roulette, blackjack, three card poker, fun 21, and 44 slot machines. One table is even an electronic poker pro table without a dealer hosting such games as Texas Hold'em. For those guests new to gaming, there are also complimentary gaming lessons during the day. The Library and Clarendon Fine Art Gallery. Lovers of literature can escape into an enthralling novel within the magnificent wood paneled two story library, the first at sea. For guests who enjoy fine art, Clarendon Fine Art Gallery specializes in British and international contemporary painting and sculpture. Queen Victoria also features a floating museum display called Cunardia, which showcases a unique collection of Cunard memorabilia and artifacts. Cunard Insights Program. Cunard has had the great pleasure of welcoming aboard famous authors, legendary sports stars, renowned broadcasters, and even the occasional astronaut. They all have joined the ship as part of the Insights Program to deliver informative lectures. Children's Programs. On board Queen Victoria, children will be cared for by our youth team who have extensive experience in planning and facilitating activities for guests from two to 17 years old. Our three children's programs, the play zone, the kids zone, and the teen zone are complimentary and offer a peace of mind knowing that children are well looked after and can socialize with other young people. These clubs are open on a daily basis and feature secure entry systems which allow only authorized entry. Sorry. Mm -hmm. All right. Dining. <laughs> The Britannia Restaurant. Those who have chosen to book a Britannia grade stateroom can choose an early dining sitting at 6 p.m. or a late sitting at 8.30 p.m. This beautiful two-tiered restaurant showcases original artwork, a magnificent backlit ceiling, and cantilevered balconies. Inspired by the dining car of the famed Golden Arrow that linked London to Paris, the restaurant's Art Deco design influences are captured in its original artwork, wall sconces, and a combination of authentic finishes that include polished wood, bronze mirror, and gold leaf. The room's focal point, a visually arresting illuminated world globe, stands 10 feet tall, a sizable yet subtle reference to Cunard's rich history plying the world's oceans. Breakfast and lunch are also served in this refined restaurant. Finest dining at sea. Grills guests can experience the finest dining at sea in the Grills restaurants and choose from specially created menus and wine lists in the elegant secluded surroundings. The option to eat al fresco in warmer client climates is exclusively available in the restaurant's courtyard. All right, savor every mouthful. The veranda. Exquisite French cuisine. The award-winning Veranda Restaurant is the perfect venue for a special occasion. It is a sophisticated restaurant that offers delicious contemporary French cuisine. Reservations are highly recommended for this popular alternative dining choice. A moder modest cover charge applies. Right. Golden Lion Pub, British timeless classics. The 116 seat Golden Lion Pub replicates a traditional English pub right down to its tabletop blackboard menus, advertising the day's complimentary pub fare, including fish and chips and shepherd's pie. Guests enjoy a wide selection of ales and can keep up to date with the latest news and sports on plasma screen television, televisions in Cunard's signature pub. No pub is complete without a spot of karaoke or a good old pub quiz. Lido Restaurant. Don't ever feel famished. Located high on deck nine, the Lido offers astonishing views thanks to 
floor to ceiling windows, offering a more casual, bright and airy ambience by day and night. The Lido provides the perfect setting for a more relaxed dining experience. Buffet dining in this restaurant is available 24 hours a day, serving breakfast, lunch, afternoon tea, dinner, and late night snacks. Cafe Corinthia. From coffee to cocktails, Cafe Corinthia on deck two mirrors the style and sophistication of a traditional French patisserie. The cafe is poised to be a guest favorite from early morning until well past sundown. Fresh baked croissants, Danish pastries, muffins, and a wide selection of coffees, including cappuccinos, espressos, and lattes, and premium Wedgwood teas are served. It is also the ideal place to sip an evening pre-dinner cocktail. Themed dining, the Lido. In the evening, the introduction of two bistro-style dining venues with reserved seating will transform areas of the cafe into mini restaurants, presenting dining experiences from around the world. A new themed menu will be ready to discover every evening, offering guests variety and choice if they wish to experience an alternative from the main restaurant. Guests will find bamboo, offering Asian fusion, coriander, serving modern Indian cuisine, and prime, the place to choose from a range of succulent seafood and steaks. A small cover charge applies. All right. <clears throat> Canard Signature. Complimentary afternoon tea in true White Star service style is offered in the splendid surroundings of the Queen's Room and also served in the Winter Garden. For a small cover charge, an enhanced afternoon tea including champagne is served in the Veranda Restaurant. <sighs> Select the ports of call you believe Queen Victoria that. regularly visits. Hey, anybody? anybody? I know the answer. Huh? <laughs> I know the answer. <laughs> Anyone else? I don't. They say Rome. I don't it's know. What do you guys think? Huh? It's all of them. It is um, all of them? Mm -hmm. Cool. Thumbs up. That's right. <laughs> Yeah. Right. Victoria will spend much of the year in the Mediterranean offering cruises that set sail from Barcelona, Venice, Rome, Athens, and Trieste regularly visits all these ports. She also sails to Iberia and the Canary Islands and the Caribbean and embarks on a world voyage each winter. Short break cruises to Belgium are also available in late spring, mid-autumn, and early winter. Nice to know. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cunard Complete Air. The Cunard Complete Air program seamlessly coordinates your client's air travel with their voyage itinerary. It offers a number of options to create the perfect European holiday, giving guests the opportunity to see as much of the Mediterranean as they desire. Cunard Complete Air allows you to review availability from multiple carriers at competitive Cunard rates to find the best flight for your client's budget. In the event of an airline delay or cancellation that causes your clients to miss em embarkation, we will arrange, rearrange their travel arrangements to enable them to embark at the next appropriate port. Okay. Statistics, passenger capacity, 1,997, gross tonnage, 90,000 GRT, length, 964 and a half feet, Beam, I don't know what that is, is 106 feet. Entered service in 2007. Godmother is Camilla, the Duchess of Cornwall. And number of guest decks is 12. All right. <clears throat> okay. Doo -doo -doo. We're ready, guys. Let's take our test. Get your cameras out. <laughs> what is the name of the nightclub on Queen Victoria. Hemisphere. What is it? Hemisphere? With an S. Yeah. Hemispheres. Plural. Mm. Spheres? Is that how? That um, right there? Yeah. Okay. 
That's right. Ooh, very good. What are the evening specialty stations in Lido? This bamboo, coriander, and prime? Yep. Okay, bamboo, coriander, and prime for Lido. What year did Queen Victoria enter service? 2007. 2007. That's right. Woo, woo, woo. Cunard became a patron of which charity after the naming ceremony of Queen Victoria? Which one was it? The Princess. The Prince Trust. The Prince's Trust. That's right. You selected the correct response. How many Princess Grill suites are on board the Queen Victoria? 62. 62. 62. You guys are good. Very good. How many titles does the ship's library hold? 6,000. 6,000? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Good idea on C days. 6,000 books. How many children programs are there on the Queen Mary? Three. Three, that's what I thought. Queen Victoria, sorry, not the Queen Mary, Queen Victoria. <laughs> Don't wanna confuse you guys. All right, that's correct. Three, three children's programs. In which venue can guests enjoy a champagne afternoon tea? Is that the veranda? It is, I got it wrong and it told me that it was the veranda. Okay, <laughs> all right, the veranda. That's right, for a small cover charge, afternoon tea including champagne is served in the veranda room. Complimentary afternoon tea and true white star service is offered in splendid surroundings, also served in the winter garden. Which of these first at sea can be found on Queen Victoria? The first. I'll Isn't tell it you it's not all of them. Hey, I thought this is, but again, I don't know, guys. What do you think? This this is is okay, one at a time. <laughs> what is it? Fencing lesson, I know. The fencing? Mm -hmm. Okay. Anybody else? Uh, and I, I thought think they are too, but. I'm not sure. I think it's the champagne bar. But I could be wrong. Uh, is it the theater boxes too? I think yeah. that. Okay. Yes. The, the other ship had a champagne bar also. Did it? Should we try off this? You guys want to try? I honestly don't remember. I know fencing and theater for sure. But. All right, let's try it. Incorrect. Uh -oh. Okay, then it's not the champagne. Retry. Oh, well, we still passed. Right. Yep. So before you close, you can retry the quiz, get a hundred percent, and then close the course, and it'll record the hundred percent. Perfect. All right. What did you know that? Do you guys know what it is? Okay, I know this bamboo and coriander. Mm -hmm. Um, afternoon tea veranda. Hemisphere, H E M. Spheres. Yep. Uh, Prince Trust. Three kids programs. Uh, 62 suites, mm -hmm. 2007, yeah, six thousand books, and now 
It's Any just fencing and the in the boxes. It's the fencing and the boxes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Mm hmm. Yay! All right, guys. Congratulations. I Woo! saw it. Hundred percent. Okay, everybody got that. Yeah. Perfect. All right. So I'm going to, uh, well, let's see, where are we at? We only need one more. Do you guys want to do a short little one? At least get, get our required done. You guys up for one more? Sure. Yeah. All right. So let's look down here. How about, um, these are 15 minutes. So we have a white star service dining or accommodations. Any of those match yours? I have all three. I have all three. All right. Why don't we do the White Star service? Works for me. All right. That way, at least we got all the required done. And then um, I fear we could pick this up next Friday. What do you guys think? You good with that? Okay. Sounds good. Okay. All right. Let me enter my name again. Anybody else want to read on this one? I can. I just need to get in here. <laughs> All I right. I love when you step up. All right. Hey, Marnie, I'm actually going to have to go. I've got to go make dinner. Okay. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. We'll hopefully get by without you on this one, but I appreciate it coming on. <laughs> no problem. All, All right. right. I'll try to be on next Friday to help you all out too. Perfect. Thank you. Have a good Thanks. night and a good weekend. Good night. You too. Thanks. Bye-bye. Which one is this called? Um, this is the white uh, service or whatever. or um, White star service. Yeah. Under elective or required? No, uh, required. It's the very, it was the very bottom one for me. Oh, um, it looks like I've already ranked up to staff captain, so that could be why. Okay, so you can't so I don't read. Know what I'm available to take. I'm sorry. No problem. I'll read it. I can read it off of your screen. I didn't even think about that, but I okay. can read it. If you if you don't mind. Sure. Yeah, Phil, we're white welcome star. Uh -huh. Phil, welcome from the very first good afternoon. There is something rather distinctive about the service on board a Cunard ship. Guests will recognize it from the very first okay. greeting when they embark. It is a combination of courtesy and confidence that tells guests that they're in the hands of a very professional crew that is made up of individuals who take great pride in making guests stay on board an unforgettable experience. Guests will hear it in the way their stateroom steward greets them by name and remembers details about their trip. They will see it in their waiter's impeccable attention to detail. They will feel it in the way that they relax the second they step on board. We believe great service is warm and sincere. It is not stuffy, it is not hurried, it is always friendly, but never over familiar. Great service takes its lead from guests. At Cunard, we call it white star service. It is a shining example of how things should be done. Nice. What is white star service? Gracious and personal, attentive and friendly, polished and unobtrusive. Guests will see White Star service pins worn proudly by all crew members on board, demonstrating their commitment to these standards. White Star service signatures, legendary, elegant, and memorial, or memo memo uh, memorable. <laughs> legendary. Okay, we all been there. <laughs> with royalty and high society, the most famous ocean liners in the world, and over 175 years of maritime history. Elegant. Upon embarkation, guests will be greeted by our white gloved officers and crew, Cunard Grills dining experience, British afternoon tea, and formal service style. It's memorable, unique cultural enrichment, gracious officers and crew, transatlantic liner experience. Nice. Cornerstone statement. The White Star Service Cornerstone statement guides our crew's understanding of their role and defining each guest's experience on board our liners. Each day, one of our guests come into contact with one of us. Cunard's tradition, elegance, and legendary culture are now for us to deliver. 
In doing this, we will make a memorable and lasting impression. Got it that time. At that very moment, we are Cunard. When this impression is good, we have exemplified the legacy that is Cunard in a manner more meaningful than all of our community and public relations or advertising efforts combined. The White Star Service Credo. The White Star Service Credo consists of 12 service statements providing clear outlines for crew members to provide the finest possible experience for our guests. Crew members proudly wear their White Star Service pin and display their service credo cards, reminding all that they are here to serve the guests or the needs of our guests. Number one, we smile. We are always in the spotlight. Two, we use correct body language. Three, we are immaculate in our appearance. Four, we support and assist colleagues. Five, we respect each other as individuals. Six, we are always positive with guests and colleagues. Seven, we are knowledgeable about our shifts, ships and services. Eight, we exceed our guests' expectations. Nine, we maintain formality in our service style. 10, we use proper telephone etiquette. 11, we always speak English in guests' areas. 12, we never say no, but we offer alternatives. Very good. <clears throat> the core brand. The core brand is the ethos behind White Star. We are Cunard. It says that we are proud of being part of something special, famous, and luxurious. We are passionate. The heritage and culture of Cunard are now for us to protect and nurture for the future. To do this, we need to be knowledgeable about our ships and Cunard's legacy, which we embrace. We deliver White Star service. We take pride in its legendary, elegant, and memorable ideals and in integrate them into everything we do. This gives us a unique spirit to serve, which ensures that our guests are at the center of our world. We strive for excellence. It is our responsibility and our goal to perform to the highest standard on board and ashore. The valued contribution of every individual brought together by our enthusiastic teamwork enables us to succeed. We innovate. We take a unique path to keep our liner legacy vibrant and relevant respectful for our past, yet always evolving to exceed our guests' expectations. We are responsible. Our reputation for integrity, fairness, and professionalism is our greatest asset. We adhere to the highest ethical standards and always respect the communities and environments in which we operate. We are accountable. Results, both financial and non-financial, are of utmost importance to us, but we never forget that the safety and security of our guests and employees is paramount. Very good. <clears throat> Shipboard program, star of the month. Oh, wow. The star of the month program encourages and recognizes select crew members on each ship for providing outstanding service to our guests, as well as to fellow crew members. Each ship's Star of the Month receives a cash award and official photograph with the captain, photograph displayed in guest and crew areas, silver Star of the Month pin, personal letter from the president and managing director of Cunard, photograph published on company intranet site, feature with Cunard's loyalty magazine, the Cunarder, notation and employee's personnel file, invitation to observe a White Star Service Committee meeting, Invite to dinner with the captain and the star of the month winners every six months. In addition, two crew members are recognized with runner up awards and six crew members receive honorable mentions. Good. Star of the year. Annually, the onboard White Star Committee will nominate an overall winner from their 12 monthly winners for inclusion in the Cunard Star of the Year Award. Each ship will submit their nomination of the shore side directorate whereby an overall winner will then be selected. The prize is a two week voyage of the winner's choice for themselves and their partner, including flight costs and a designated onboard credit or a cash equivalent in lieu of the voyage should be star of the year preferred. They will also receive a professional printed certificate presented to them by the president and managing director and a gold star of the year pin. Very nice. White star service suggestion program. Service Suggestions Scheme. The Service Suggestions Scheme is an opportunity 
for crew members to generate ideas to enhance the guest experience, as well as process change to save money without affecting the guest experience. Each quarter, the White Star Committee will collect all the service enhancement cards and select one effective proposal and one process change and submit these to the Shoreside Committee for review. If a suggestion is taken up for implementation, the crew member who has submitted the idea is awarded a cash prize. Carnival UK Ship of the Quarter. Three quarterly cash awards are made by the Shoreside Directorate to the ship that as a whole has demonstrated outstanding performance. The hotel manager will lead the submission for each vessel and will include examples of how the crew have embraced the company performance principles, high guest questionnaire scores, or indeed any specific event or incident during which the ship has demonstrated excellent customer service. All ships in the Cunard fleet are eligible for these awards. Cunard U training courses. Crew members can access self-guided computer training courses offering job training or personal skills enhancement, such as appreciate personality differences, time management, data protection, language courses, health hygiene and occupational safety courses. Crew members have the opportunity to win cash prizes for high results. Man, they like to give away cash. Wonder where I want to go work. <laughs> Long service awards are given to recognize the contribution and loyalty of employees who have dedicated significant time in their careers on board Cunard ships. The scheme provides rewards to employees upon reaching 5, 10, 20, 30, and 40 year anniversaries. The award will be given on the employee's first appointment following the anniversary of their company start date. Very good. <clears throat> White Star News. A quarterly White Stars news film is produced and shown in the crew in stateroom circuit television. Each informative episode is produced by the ship's staff and features include management messages, company development, White Star achievements amongst the fleet, as well as reenacting examples of White Star service. Very good. These various programs encourage crew members, yada, yada, yada. Keep oh, going. There we go. You participate in activities which provide a focus on excellent customer service and win cash, of course, as we learned. <laughs> Very good. All right, test your knowledge. See, that was a quick one, huh? All right, let's go. The White Star Service credo consists of how many points? Twelve. Twelve. That is correct. 12 credo points. What are the White Star Service signatures? Select all that apply. I think it's actually all of them, but I know legendary, elegant. Elegant, memorable, legendary. What is it? Memorable. No, that's only three. There's only three, so which one? These three? Yes. Very good. <laughs> the star of the year receives a two week voyage of his or her choice. Star of the year, sorry, star of the year. True, right? right? Yes. Or, or money, right? Or money if they choose yes. not to, yeah. Correct. Which phrase best describes white star service? Oh, no. All of the above? Yes. I think so. That's it. What is the name of the self-guided computer training courses offering job training or personal skill enhancements? Connect you. Connect you. That's right. Woo, fill in the missing words from the cornerstone statement. Each. Uh. Each. Day. Day. One of our guests is in contact with one of us. Cunard's blank. Uh, Cunard's what? Uh, hold on. Um, hold on. We are. Let's go to the next one. That's going to be impression. Here. In doing Cunard this, we'll make a memorable one. and lasting impression. Yeah. Legendary culture. Cunard's tradition, elegance, and legendary culture. That should be it. All right. So day, tradition, culture, impression, and Cunard. 
Thank you, Alicia. Have fun. Have a good weekend. All right. Service suggestion scheme allows crew members to pull for put forward ideas they feel will improve the level of service. True. True. Correct. Long service awards are given to employees upon reaching what anniversaries of working mm -hmm. for Canard? The first one. Five, 10, 20. That big old vat of soup. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's insane. All right, 100. Woo, woo, Yay. Woo. All right, thank you, Brandon. Um, anybody need help on their test? I took pictures. Okay, perfect. So I should be okay. All right. Okay, guys, so let's finish this up um, next Friday. So I'm gonna put it on the July calendar. I know next Friday though is 4th of July weekend. So if for any reason you guys can't make it, again, I will record it. Um, also wanted to find out moving forward for um, July. These are ones that I kind of have in here. Um, uh, I wanted to do Britain, Britain agent, um, maybe on the Fridays after. Does that sound good? Because that one's, I think, a, a kind of involved one. So it's called Brit agent. And then um, I was thinking um, we have Alaska, um, Arizona, Marriott. I want to do Marriott. Have you guys done Marriott? Marriott's a great fam one and, and gives you great discounts. Has anybody done Marriott yet? I have. Okay. No. Do you recommend doing it, Brandon? Um, yes, I do. The fam rates are pretty good. What I've noticed, though, is that it all depends on your time of year um, as to if the property is available. And then you can only use it um, a very limited amount of time. So basically each property once kind of thing. But I mean, still, it's very cool to be able to see the different style of properties. Okay. So we, I have Virgin Islands, Marriott, Ireland, Arizona, Alaska, cruise and land. Um, and then we have the New Zealand one. Um, anything else that you guys really want to do or are you guys okay with those? Um, those sound great. Huh? Yeah, those sound good. They sound good? Okay. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I'll put them on the schedule. Um, I'll also look on here just to see what else we have left to do. Um, but uh, yeah, so we have actually four Wednesdays, so that'll be good. So I'll, I'll add to that. And, um, and then we'll start with Britain um, after we finish Canard. So um, thank you guys again. I appreciate it. I hope you guys are learning something. I am because I've never even knew what Cun or heard of Cunard <laughs> until, you know, I actually, you know, just started with Princess, you know, a year or two ago. So um, so it's very interesting. So again, I appreciate you guys' time um, sticking with us. Um, we had 21 originally down to nine, but um, I know it's a Friday. And so again, I appreciate you guys taking the time and learning. So uh, again, if you need anything or have any suggestions for July, please let us know so we can put it on the calendar. And again, thank you guys for joining us. And I hope to see you tomorrow. I am doing new agent orientation and I'm doing um, the voucher and accountability program. Okay. So what time is what, what time's the new agent orientation tomorrow? Uh, tomorrow it's at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Okay. I'll get Lori to go to that. Perfect. And then uh, noon is the new agent um, or the vouchers are incentive vouchers on how to use them and also accountability so if you guys want to attend that we also have rising tide team meeting tomorrow too so busy saturday um so if you can join us great i'm going to go ahead and record mine so that way you know you guys can get on them also okay hey marnie uh -huh. thank you um i've went through the Canard White Star service, and I took the test, got 100%. It didn't count it. I did it again, got 100%, and still said I have to do it. You know, that's what happened to us on Princess. I think I did it four or five times, me and Diane. 
Um, I think once you get completely out and go back in, I think it should reset. Um, it is a very picky program. So, um, you know, now you know the answer, so you just keep doing it, but that's what we did. We had to do it like four times. Um, okay. So yeah, just reset it um, or go out and go back in and it should show it. Okay, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Thanks a lot, Brent. This is always really helpful to go through it all together. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah, that's what I think. So, um, you know, again, let's, you know, keep doing it. And, you know, again, if, if you can't make it, I'll have it recorded. But um, thank you for joining us, guys. And I hope you have an amazing evening. I'm going to be on the uh, presentation. If you have anybody that's interested, I'm doing it at 6 p.m. So hope to see you guys on there. And again, Congratulations with your business and um, have a great weekend, okay? Thanks, guys. Thank you, Marnie. Thanks. Bye-bye.